Hi Libra, this is Tanya from Saiba Yoga and I'm here to do your tarot reading for June 2021. We're gonna start with some Palo Santo wood. I'm asking my higher self to please guide me to give Libra the information that they need on their way to their highest possible spiritual path. And I'm gonna start with the Golden Girls Tarot deck. This is this one. Let's see what's in store for you, Libra. I'll shuffle the cards twice so we can make sure that they are shuffled thoroughly. And now we're gonna see. Libra, June 2021, please. What's in store for Libra? June 2021 for Libra, please. Thank you. The Magician and the Knight of Cups. What else do we get? Nine of Swords. Why is the Magician here? I'd like to know why is the Magician here, please? Why is the Magician here? I do believe the Magician is here because of something with pentacles, but I'm not sure. Okay, the card fell on the floor. Okay, we've got the Four of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Why is the Magician here? What happened here? Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Six of Pentacles in the reversed. Okay. Good. I think we're done shuffling and we'll go right into your reading. So Libra, here is your reading. First of all, you've got a major arcana card with the number one. This is the magician. On this card, you can see that he has all the tools he needs. Um, these tools represent the elements, air, water, fire, and earth. And you have all of these. You've got the skills, you've got the talent, you've got the possibility. So this is your time to manifest in June. Um, so Libra, whatever ideas you have in your head, you will try to make them a reality and you will succeed. So if you have a plan on doing something, you will actually really take the action towards it. You will do that and you will make something which used to be just a thought, a tangible reality. Then we have the Four of Cups, the Nine of Swords together with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So what I can see here, first of all, Nine of, uh, Knight of Cups in the reverse, this is the player energy. This is somebody who wasn't good for you, somebody who is, yeah, just coming in for something casual, robbing all your energy and then leaving. So we don't need people like that, yeah? I'm, I hope you have already got past this person. Uh, this is somebody very unreliable and childish and immature. Uh, then we have the Nine of Swords. Something was causing you sleepless nights. You had nightmares, anxieties. This is the card of even coulda, shoulda, woulda feelings. You know, in your head, you're going like, I shouldn't have trusted that person. I shouldn't have talked to that person. Why did I actually spend time with that person? So you gotta get out of that energy because um, it won't change your past if you keep on reminiscing about what you, what you did wrong or if you have not seen any red flags, you have to get out of this mood. So here with the Four of Cups, this is your time to really break out of this old energy. This is telling you, that you have grown past this old you. You are not this person anymore who would fall for somebody so unreliable and childish. You would not do that again. You would not ever come to the situation again that such a player personality is coming to you and you wouldn't see the red flags. That just won't happen because you've learned from the experience in the past already. So 
this card i often say it's the card of the lobster that is breaking out of his shell when the lobster is growing his shell doesn't grow with him he has to leave his old shell and get a new one and this is where you are now so you have to stop thinking about this could have should have would have things because this person is already in your past you should focus on the future and focus on the things that are going well in your life and focus on feelings of gratitude i'm sure every day when you go to sleep you can find at least five things you're thankful for each day um, so then we have the good part of the reading, which is the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. This is very, very nice. Page of Cups can bring you new romance, something, somebody who is really making you smile, who's making your heart dance and sing. Um, it can bring, you know, somebody who's sweet to you, who invites you for a dinner, who buys you flowers, things like this. Somebody who just is nice to spend time with. Also, um, with the page of cups this can be, talk about creativity and magic and synchronicity so this would uh, tap in with the magician because with the magician you do alchemy you do a change uh, you do a transformation of yourself of your mind of your thinking of your soul of your feelings and also of your outside world if you start with the inner alchemy then the outside alchemy comes naturally if you change your inner um, thoughts and feelings if you stop thinking about the past and focus on the future then automatically you will attract new persons like this people who actually are your kindred spirits the people who you really should be with okay so you're doing that fine because with the magician energy you're doing everything right you're transforming this old you that was just around the sorrow and the headaches and thinking about the past you're totally transforming that into the new you and here comes the gift from the universe with the ace of pentacles somebody is handing you the universe is handing you an opportunity this can very well be something with uh, money jobs um, this could also be that the things that you bring into reality here with the magician will actually sell really well so if you are doing some kind of craft or art uh, the things you bring into the into the world will sell really good because the people are gonna like it and with the six of pentacles in reverse you should just this is only a hint of the universe to tell you please be mindful where you put your energy okay so you have to keep a balance of give and take. That means you have to mindfully decide where do I put my time and energy? Where do I invest time and energy? In which person? In which task? In, in what yeah, how do I spend my time? Because uh, you don't want to get into a situation where other people, um, you know, get the opportunity to suck you dry, to rob all your energy, and then there's nothing left for you. That's not the point in life, yeah? The point in life is to equally give and take, and this is just a reminder that you should be mindful and pick your pick your battles wisely if somebody comes up to you and it gives you you know pushing your buttons and being a little edgy with with the tongue then just don't let them uh you know trigger your emotions because if you ha if you let them um, trigger you then you are actually giving them the energy in the form of the emotions they trigger so um, you don't want to lose these these energies because you want to use it for yourself you want to put all of your energy into that transformation process you want to put your energy into what you're creating in this world and not into having emotions that other people actually triggered in you yeah so that would be a little bit of a waste of energy there um, that's all I have for you but I'm gonna pull one extra card let's see if something's coming out of this little deck for Libra for June 2021 is there any advice for Libra inside this deck or is there any hint for Libra anything important to know for Libra okay okay we've got the widower um, I'm gonna show you the card first so you can see here and i guess this has to do with the nine of swords and the four of cups now so with these three cards um, i have the feeling that they belong together so maybe there was a person um, who has left you behind alone where you felt um, and I would guess that it's this uh, knight of cups in the reverse um, this you just felt left out in the cold you felt like this person just went off and left you alone yeah it doesn't necessarily have to be that somebody died 
it's just the feeling of being left behind alone. Yeah, that's what comes out of this card. And I think this, this was leaving you in a situation where you were sitting at home like that, you know? Um, but it's, it's time for you to really transform this. Yeah, this is the old energy. Let's see if we can get something for you, new energy, where you're going. Where is Libra going in the future? Is there any card indicating maybe where, where is Libra going in the future? Where's Libra going in the future? What's coming in for Libra? And there we go. We've got thought. Somebody sitting and thinking. So this is, yeah, again, this, this is that card. So you are very much in your head, yeah? This is why, why sometimes swords come out is in your head, being in your head, only thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, this is just too much. Yeah, there is maybe the imbalance that is indicated here with the six of pentacles in the reverse. That, that indicates an imbalance. And maybe there is too much thought, too much coulda, shoulda, woulda, and too much thinking. Um, instead of um, doing, you know, taking action towards the, the next you, the next step towards your future. So because you want to, you want to go here, right? That's where you want to end up. You want to be happy. You want to have your, your beautiful beach time and your pentacle here. So um, think about maybe not only what, what am I grateful for in the past? What lessons have I learned? But also where do I want to go in the future? Maybe write it down, write it down on a sheet of paper. Where do I, what do I want to have? What do I want to feel, see, taste, touch in the future? How do I want my world to be? How do I want my world to feel like? How, how does it smell there? Yeah. For, for me, for example, I would like my future at the beach. So I imagine myself being in that wonderful salty beach air, you know? So the, the more details you can name about how you want the future to be, yeah? Not just, uh, I want a million dollars on a bank account, but also how does it taste? What do you eat? What, what are the foods you eat? Yeah. So go into detail about how you want to have your future. How, how do you want to see yourself? And then as often as you can go there in your mind mind yeah try try just use your fantasy you've got the magician here so you've got a lot of fantasy and and use this fantasy to bring things into reality which you really want to have in your world um i'm gonna pull maybe one last card for you let's take one from the deck of the positive affirmations because i really have the feeling libra needs that right now is there a positive affirmation for libra do we get any positive affirmations for Libra, please? Any positive affirmations for Libra, please? <laughs> They're not saying anything. Okay. We've got, there is no limit to what I can do and become. There is no limit to what I can do and become. And that is actually exactly the confirmation of the magician. Yeah, the magician is telling you there is no limit of what you can do and what you can become. And you definitely can become this page of cups person here who is happy and not only emotionally fulfilled uh, with the page of cups this is pointing to emotional fulfillment, but also material fulfillment with the ace of cups. Yeah. So I hope you liked the reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Also click the bell button on the side of the subscribe button. That's important for my channel and it will help you get notified whenever I post a new video. Write a comment. Let me know if it resonated for you. If you have any questions, also feel free to comment below and I hope to see you soon and I love you. Bye.